The year, 1920, World War I over, the U.S. economy in a depression, and Will Schuster had just shown up in Santa Fe. So he comes in 1920, really believing that he has a very limited amount of time left. Will was suffering from tuberculosis after being mustard gas during the war. A Philly native, the doctor prescribed him some good old fashioned Southwest air. Gradually gets better. He goes hiking, um, he increases his lung capacity and goes on to live um, another 44 years. Starting over in the land of enchantment, Will decided to become an artist and found himself a group of fellow free spirits who called themselves Los Cinco Pintores or the five painters. I have a friend who's a bartender at um, the Matador, and I'm told that they still leave a shot glass out on the table for Will Schuster uh, even now. But how did a love of drinking, partying, and practical jokes lead to the burning of a giant monster? Well, it all started one Christmas Eve. Times were tough, no one had any money, and Will was not having any more of his friend's gloom. He decided that everybody needed to write down what was bothering them, and he gathered it in the middle of the table and set it on fire. And so it began. Will himself was still dealing with his own PTSD from World War I. He has a depression that he's struggling with um, for much of the 1920s, and I think Zozobra was also a way for him to really exercise uh, that um, depression. And also, it's really fun to drink and burn things. That's Will's great-granddaughter, Kate Schuster. There are many of these legends that float around in my family about the parties that he would have. Around this time, toward the mid to late 1920s, the Fiesta de Santa Fe, a way to celebrate the history of how the city came to be, became an event where you needed to buy a ticket. Will and his artist friends, um, who were pretty much bohemians in Santa Fe, um, found Fiesta very stuffy. And that's when Zozobra expanded from the bar top that fateful Christmas Eve. Afterwards, Will actually traveled down to Mexico and witnessed the burning of an effigy. So he decided to combine those two ideas. Plus, they wanted to break away from Fiesta and start their own traditions. So you can see here actually some of the very first drawings of Zozobra's head. And in these writings, Will talks about the materials he would use and how it would be constructed. And it all started in his backyard just pouring kerosene on this thing in your backyard, and then they moved it closer to the plaza, and they were still pouring kerosene on it. That first backyard burning was in 1924, and by 1930, legend of Zozobra spread. Working with the Santa Fe New Mexican, Will published a series of fake news stories about the giant monster on a rampage through the countryside, and finally being captured, brought back to Santa Fe, and burned. And as his great-granddaughter told me, Will may have spent the back half of his life creating this legend as a way for people to escape. But the legend of Will Schuster himself, well, that's something that can never be burned away. It's such an honor to be associated with something that makes some so many people so happy. The Santa Fe Fiesta Council decided to invite Zizobra to become a part of Fiestas in 1926. That was the first year the public was invited to watch the burning. Today, they are two separate events.